Up to again the offset eye. Grosteen turns, gives to D'Amato, trying to sweep the corner left side. Inside the five, and he walks in for the touchdown. A four-yard touchdown run for John D'Amato, his 12th touchdown of the year. A nice drive right there for uh, for the Warhawks. Uh, move the field mostly uh, mostly on the ground and uh, come away with their first touchdown of the day uh, with 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. So Wisconsin Whitewater has had the football three times. They've gotten two field goals and now a touchdown. Motter to attempt the extra point. Now they're going to go for two instead. They'll go for two. Double tight end set, Grosteen rolling out right, looking to throw, completes it in the end zone for the extra point. And Andy Wozniak with the two-point conversion. And Whitewater with a 14-7 lead, 9.59 left in the second quarter. Back in a moment, this is Simpson Storm Football on AM 1490, KBAB, and Sports Radio, the jock. Well, Wisconsin Whitewater taking the lead now, 14 to 7, 9:59 left in this second quarter. Scott Pierce, along with Rob Luther, Simpson Storm football here on KBAB and also on Sports Radio, the Jock. Larry Fuller is deep with Hunt and Gunther flanking him. And now the ball blows off the tee, and they'll have to tee it up once more. Motter, first time he'll get the benefit of kicking with the wind at his back. And Fuller drops back an extra 10 yards inside his own five. Now we'll try it once more. And here we go. Motter swings the left leg. The short kick, Fuller fields it at the nine-yard line. He goes up the middle across the 20, the 25, and brought down at the 27-yard line. The Simpson Storm needing to get the score back, and they'll start from their own 27. That last uh, scoring drive, an eight-play, 72-yard drive, capped by the four-yard John D'Amato touchdown run, and then the two-point pass play from Grovestein to Wozniak giving Whitewater the 14-7 lead. Now Jorgensen on first down throws it, completes it left side. Richter brought down near the line of scrimmage, hauled down at about the 27-28 yard line. Not much doing that time for Simpson on first down. Now this will be a real important series for the Storm, for anything just for the field position. Make sure they get a couple first downs here and uh, take the ball down the field. Jorgensen quickly brings them to the line of scrimmage. He's got Richter wide right, McGraw wide left. The give is to Christensen. He bounces it outside the left side, but brought down right around the line of scrimmage once more as the Whitewater defense quickly closing out that uh, that left side. The Christensen tried to bounce it toward, and a gain of one, setting up a third and eight. Yeah, Christensen has some uh, fresh legs. Not carried the ball a whole lot yet today, and uh, uh, right there, some quick, uh, quick moves bouncing it out, but uh, couldn't get to the corner. Dameron is wide left. McGraw wide right with Richter in the slot right. Jorgensen throws on third down. Plenty of time. Airs it across the middle. And it's intercepted at midfield. Intercepted by Sean Smith. He cuts it to the left side. Brought down at the Simpson 43-yard line. A little too much air under at that time from Jorgensen. And Brad throws his 11th pick of the year. Ball floated on him there. They were trying to catch uh, catch a post route on the backside and uh, just overthrew his intended receiver and uh, uh, free safety sitting all over it. So Wisconsin Whitewater with another golden scoring opportunity. They'll start from the Simpson 43. This Whitewater offense has been out on the field a long, long time. Offset eye behind Grovestein. Receivers left and right. The ball on the left hash. Grovestein taking his time at the line of scrimmage. Now takes the snap, the turn, and the give to McKinney. He tries to bounce it outside to the right side. He is hauled down, stacked up, driven back, making the initial stop. Jeremy Whalen, he reached out with a right paw, grabbed the jersey, didn't let him go anywhere, got some help, no gain on the play. Nice play out of Jeremy Whalen there on first down. Uh, had it at the back of his jersey and just waited for some help out of the rest of the Storm defense. No gain and a second and 10 from the Simpson 43. Simpson's defense has to tighten up after the interception. They've had a history, though, of doing that and bailing out the offense 
quite often during turnover situations. They'll need to do it here, trailing it 14-7 to in the second quarter. Grosting rolls out left, options it, pitches it, McKinney fumbles it, picks it back up, and dives ahead to the 37-yard line at the gain of five on a play that could have been disaster for Wisconsin Whitewater. Boy, the ball is bouncing in uh, Whitewater's way so far in this first half. That's a couple times the ball's been on the ground and either bounced out of bounds or bounced right back up into their into their hands uh, and keeping keep control of the football. Well, he couldn't have got a, a more perfect bounce. Even hit, The only way he could get a more perfect bounce is if he was playing with a basketball. That thing just came right back into his lap. A gain of six and a third and four now for Wisconsin Whitewater from the Simpson 37-yard line. Trips to the right side of the field. McKinney, the single setback. Rothstein under center. Drops back. Airs out the screen. Right side. It's complete across the 35, the 30, and the first down. Jamal Patterson, the flanker, coming out of that backfield to the right side, gets it down to the 25-yard line, and a first down for the Warhawks. Same little uh, screen they used uh, in the last series, and uh, I'll tell you what, Whitewater's receivers are doing a great job blocking downfield and staying on the uh, Simpson DBs. So a first down for Whitewater from the Simpson 25-yard line with 7.08 to play in this second quarter, and the Warhawks' offense has been a machine here in this first half. Stopped a couple of times inside the red zone, getting field goals, getting a touchdown there last time out. This is their fourth series of plays. Trips to the left side. Grovestein gives to McKinney. Stutter steps behind the line of scrimmage. Spins away from a couple of tacklers. Gets inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And a gain of seven for Eddie McKinney. Joe Bishorner making the stop for the storm. Boy, they're right there they had McKinney uh, dead in the backfield, three, four-yard loss. He does a great spin move, gets out of that, and uh, gets upfield, makes what looks like nothing into a nice uh, seven-yard Yeah, and then game. threw another spin move on about four or five yards into the penetration. He comes out, D'Amato back in, trips to the left side of the field on a second and four. From the Simpson 18-yard line, Grosteen rolling out left, gives to D'Amato, across the 15, inside the 10, and hauled down at the 8-yard line. It's a first and goal for Wisconsin Whitewater. Kenny Fry had to come up from the safety spot and make the stop. That play right there was the uh, touchdown play just a couple minutes earlier off left tackle. Uh, running behind Derek Levesque, a 6'6", 293-pound left tackle, and uh, you got to feel good any time you can go off tackle, and uh, you got a kid 6'6", 293 there to lead you through the hole. Six first downs for Wisconsin Whitewater in their last two possessions. Out of a total of uh, 12 plays, 13 plays, excuse me. Offset eye behind Grosteen, now man in motion, Patterson from right to left. Grosteen rolls out right, looking to throw, looking in the end zone. It's complete. It's a touchdown. That's the fullback, Andy Wozniak, coming out of the backfield for the touchdown. He got the two-point conversion a moment ago. And with 5.43 left in the second quarter, Wisconsin Whitewater now leading at 20-7. Yeah, I tell you what, right now Whitewater has uh, Simpson defense on their heels. Uh, you know, they're uh, picking and choosing, doing things at the right time. And, uh, you know, we're right now just controlling, controlling the Simpson defense. Brian Motter will attempt the extra point. Motter for the extra point attempt. The snap a little high. They get it down. The kick is up, and it is good. And with 5.43 left in the second quarter, Simpson in a hole. They trail it now 21-7 to to Wisconsin Whitewater. Back in a moment, this is Simpson Storm Football on AM 1490 KBAB. and Simpson finds themselves in the unusual position of trailing here in this first half with 5.43 left. Right, right now what uh, Simpson needs to do is uh, sustain another uh, strong drive here to finish out the first half and try to pull them back within seven. Uh, Real important right now that uh, Jorgensen bring that offense back out and put some points on the board. Well, Simpson, their last two possessions had to give it up on downs and had the interception that led to the two touchdown scores for Wisconsin Whitewater and the storm needing to squelch a little momentum of their own. Motter kicks it away. Fuller has to retreat to his own goal line. He'll bring it out one yard deep across the 10. Sutter steps at the 15 and is hauled down at the 17 yard line. So the storm starts this possession deep in their own territory at their own 17. 
Yeah, right now, field position in that wind really played uh, havoc on the storm this second quarter. Uh, really, you know, outside of the uh, drive they turned over on downs, haven't been able to get, uh, get field position and uh, sustain anything. So let's see what they can do with this drive right here. Lehman and Christensen in the backfield. McGraw wide right with Richter wide left. Jorgensen quick hitter to Lehman up the middle. He plows his way forward to the 20-yard line at the gain of a couple on the play. Steve Vanden Heuvel, a senior, making the play defensively. Yeah, back to the fullback trap again. They had success with in the first period. hasn't uh, hasn't uh, sprung anything here uh, in the second period. Uh, we really need to try to get the ground game going. High formation behind Jorgensen. He fumbles the snap, picks it up again, looking to throw. Airs it out, completes it left sideline. Lehman across the 30, 35 to 40, near midfield and hauled down at the Whitewater 48-yard line. Lehman got some good blocking along the way from Jeremy Richter and was able to turn it upfield and get the big yardage. What a break that was. Uh, Jorgensen dropped the ball coming out of center. I couldn't tell if he ever had it, but it was on the ground. Must be the uh, whitewater turf right back up in his hands, and we uh, make the completion to Lehman. And a first and 10 at the whitewater 48. Again, eye backs behind Jorgensen. Receivers left and right. The turn. Give Lehman off right tackle in a huge hole. He dives inside the 40 near the 39-yard line. A nine-yard pickup for Guy Lehman. And a second and very short. Jim Williams and Derek Wharton like that. Have to like uh, the possibilities play calling here on this second and less than a yard. Right. Gives you a lot of opportunities, uh, especially with uh, Jorgensen back there, to maybe make something happen and take a chance on second and short. Christensen is a wing back on the left side. That's off to Lehman. The single setback. He tries to turn the corner. Left side. Shakes the tackler. Gets the first down to the 35. And a gain of four on the play and a fresh set of downs for the Storm. New formation out of the Storm there. One back had Christensen off in a wing, and uh, really Corey threw a great block there to spring Guy for that four or five-yard gain. Dameron and Short come in. Kieski and McGraw head to the sidelines for the Storm. Dameron is wide left. Richter is wide right. Short, the tight end, lines up on the right side of the line. The turn, they fake to give. Jorgensen looking to throw. Rolling out right side, completes it short to Lehman. He is upended at the 25-yard line, and again, close to the first down. Ross Headley with a nice stop, the 5'11", 185-pound junior, knowing not to go chest-to-chest with Lehman, took him out from the knees. There's the guy Lehman we know. Uh, no juke there, right over uh, right over the Whitewater D-back, and a nice 8-9 uh, yard gain there. Oh, they're going to bring the sticks in, I think. No, they they got to move the sticks. The, the, the chain gang was doing the right thing. Nobody from the official's crew signaled first down, but they were a good yard beho- beyond the first down stick, and then one of the officials finally noticed it, and they moved the chains. They're at the 25-yard line of Wisconsin Whitewater. Plenty of time in the first half. They give it to Lehman up the middle. He gets forward to the 22 and a gain of three. Inside, 350 to play in this second quarter. And Simpson down by a couple of touchdowns. That's the second time this series that Jorgensen hasn't uh, fielded the snap cleanly, juggling the ball a bit, which takes the timing uh, off in the backfield. And, uh, you know, you, when you're running those trap plays, it's important you get that ball right into that fullback as quickly as you can. Richter is wide to the right, double tight end set. Lehman and Christensen behind Jorgensen with the ball at the Whitewater 23-yard line. Jorgensen turns, tosses to Christensen, hit in the backfield, shakes a couple of tacklers, gets back near the line of scrimmage, but he lost a yard. He's tackled at the 23 at a third and eight upcoming now for Simpson. Yeah, big uh, big third down play here for uh, for the Storm. You want to make sure, uh, you know, you're getting a big chunk of this here. You're probably in two-down territory going into the win. Uh, you don't want to leave yourself a lot on fourth down. Richter is wide right. Kieski, the tight end, lines up on the right side in a double tight end set. Jorgensen trips but keeps his balance looking to throw. Airs it out for the end zone looking for short. He couldn't quite get there. Eric laid out on the turf in the end zone but missed it by about a yard. and It sets up a fourth down. Just overthrew him. Looked like uh, Eric held up on his route a little bit and uh, just overthrew him in the end zone. Interesting call here. It looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Uh, Hayes uh, into this win. That'd be probably too big a kick. So big That's, fourth down play. Yeah, it'd be about a 41-yarder into the wind, and this wind is a strong factor. With the wind, it might be a different decision. Here we go. Fourth and eight. Jorgensen drops straight back to throw. Has plenty of time. Rolls out right. Completes it. Richter for the first down at the 10-yard line. Tries to shake free. And it's brought down at the 11-yard line. Big fourth down possession. And you know Jorgensen loves Richter and Short. 
on those fourth downs, third and fourth down big plays across the middle. A lot of football you, you know, yet to be played, but that, that, that's an absolutely huge fourth down conversion for the Storm. Now it's important that they go in with some momentum and get this in the zone. 2.30 to play in the second quarter. Jorgensen under center. Eye formation. Turn. Give to Lehman. Up the middle. He plows his way forward inside the 10 to the 9. And a gain of 2. Andre Bennett, the defensive end, making the stop. And Simpson with a nice little sustained drive of their own. That is the 10th play of the drive. Again, picking and choosing. Coach Ward doing a nice job mixing things up, uh, spreading the ball around. And... Uh, uh, right now, big, big series to get this in the zone again. McGraw wide right. Richter in the slot to the right. The toss to Christensen. He looks to sweep the left side of the field. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Shakes free for a moment, but gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Marty Vosberg with a nice pursuit to stop Corey. And Corey's having a tough afternoon so far. It's just a matter of time, though, usually, before he gets going. They are. They're corralling well. They uh, keep trying to get him outside, and it's just not there right now. Uh, That's two or three times in the last couple series they've tried to run sweep, and uh, they they can't get him to the corner. Third down with the ball at the nine-yard line. McGraw's wide right. Richter in the slot to the right with the ball on the left hash. Jorgensen rolls out right, looking to throw. Still looking. Fires it near the end zone. It's complete. Is he in? No, just shy. The goal line, Grant McGraw. Boy, you can't get a whole lot of room between the football and the goal line. McGraw stopped just shy of the goal line by the junior cornerback, Ross Headley. And it's a first and goal for Simpson with a minute 18 left in this second quarter. And the ball just inches away nice, from pay dirt. Nice catch out of McGraw from Pleasantville right on the goal line. Uh, yeah, they're, they got to be an inch away from the zone. Hunt is the fullback, Lehman the tailback, the toss to Lehman, looking to turn the corner left side, hit behind the line of scrimmage and drop for a loss of a yard and a half. Drop back at the two-yard line, one minute to play, Vosberg with the tackle here in this second quarter. The clock's not going to come into play here with three timeouts left for Simpson. Well, Simpson is going to spend a timeout. I'm sure that Derek Wharton, Jim Williams, and Brad Jorgensen want to get on the same page here on this very important series of plays. With 54 seconds left in the second quarter, Wisconsin Whitewater leading at 21-7. This is Simpson Storm Football on AM 1490, KBAB, and Sports Radio, the Jock. Well, also from the West region, they got about 10 minutes left in the second quarter. Augsburg leading Concordia 14-7. Of course, the two winners will meet for the West region championship, and We will assume that the winner of this game will get to host that second round, but you know what assumptions can do to you. Then again, we assume Simpson would be in the friendly confines of Simpson Indianola Community Field. And, boy, are we dead wrong on that one. Yeah, we're sitting up here in Whitewater. I didn't think I'd be here last week. Uh, Here we go. Second and goal. 54 seconds left in this second quarter. Christensen leaving in the backfield to toss to Christensen. Looking to get in. Nothing doing that time. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And a third and goal upcoming now for the Storm from the two. They really need to get it in here, Rob. Yeah, it's crucial. They, I, I'm sure they're going to go for it here on fourth down. If they don't get in on third, they need to get in the zone. Uh, surprising, they've swept the ball down here on the goal line a couple times. They're going to use a timeout here and talk about it again, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think Brad got the right signal that he was looking for from the sideline. So, again, with a couple of timeouts left at his disposal and 33 seconds left in this first half, he elects to take the timeout and make sure that uh, everybody is speaking the same language. Coming up at the half, we'll kind of get an update on, uh, well, we'll do a little rewind on the fall season for Simpson College Athletics and also look ahead to the winter season. Matt Turk, the sports information director, will join us at the half. Right here, Scott, uh, you might look for Simpson to come out in a uh, in an off- offense where they put Corey Christensen at the wing, and a lot of times we see him uh, look for the reverse or fake the reverse, uh, you know, more of a little wide-open offense. Well, they've tried to sweep that left side a couple of times with Lehman and Christensen, and that's gotten them a yard and a half less than what they had going in. Right. We uh, kind of joked about McGraw's catch on the inch line, thinking we might bust it right in after that, but now that kind of becomes a pretty huge call there. The third and goal from the two for Simpson. They trail it 21-7, to 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Lehman is the fullback. Christensen the tailback. Richter split wide to the right. They fake the give. Jorgensen's looking to throw. In the end zone. Is it complete? No. Drop. Lehman couldn't hang on, and it's fourth and goal now from the two. Let's see what Jim Williams does. 
boy, right there, they went a little boot action, uh, fake sweep, and uh, had Lehman uh, uh, in the corner of the end zone there, looked to be right through his hands or just out, out of his reach, one of the two. Yeah, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal from the two. Yeah, this is about as big a play as we've got so far this afternoon. Jorgensen under center, rolling out right, looking to throw, still looking, still looking, still looking. Throw. It's complete for the touchdown. Flags are down. Richter was there. He makes the reception. Flags are down in the end zone. We'll see what it's all about. It must be against Wisconsin Whitewater. Everybody in white shirts celebrating. Defensive holding. Wipe it away. And the Storm with a touchdown with 22 seconds left in the quarter. Boy, what a nice job out of Brad Jorgensen rolling white, buying some time, uh, moving his receivers a little bit. And, uh, you know, his favorite receiver, Jeremy Richter, finds a little opening there. Nice ball. And uh, always make it exciting. For it, we had first and, goal, or first and uh, goal at the inch line, and we have to complete a pass on fourth down and get it in. Jeff Hayes to add the extra point and make it a one-touchdown game. Jorgensen will hold. 22 seconds left in this second frame. The snap a little high. Jorgensen, they're going to fake it. Jorgensen throws into the end zone. Incomplete. Interesting call. With 22 seconds left in the quarter, they went for two. Wisconsin Whitewater didn't buy it. Wow, that's... uh... That's a surprising call right down there. With 22 seconds to go, you're down eight. You kick the extra point. You go down seven and take the momentum in. But uh, maybe they saw something I didn't see on the extra point there. Well, nonetheless, it's a six-play, 83-yard drive that took five minutes and five seconds to execute. And if anybody has to feel blessed about that drive, defensive coordinator Jeff Judge of Simpson Gives this defense an extended rest because we've got 22 seconds left in this first half. Good point right there. I tell you what, we haven't seen a punt today uh, as we thought. A couple high-powered offenses going to want to take control of the football and uh, put points on the board. Walter and Wozniak are deep for Whitewater. Backing around their own 20, and Hayes just hit the line drive down the middle of the field, fielded by an up man at the 28-yard line. That's Wozniak who came up to get it. Spins away, has some room on the left side across the 35 to 40. Midfield, Hayes chasing him, Fry chasing him. They bring him down at the Simpson 39-yard line. And with 11 seconds left in this first half, that changes things a little bit from the Wisconsin Whitewater side because instead of taking a knee, they can now maybe run one or two plays and go into the end zone. Oh, for sure. They, I, I'm, I'm positive they're going to take a shot here and a, a nice leg on the, on the kicker, uh, Motter, uh, with the wind at your back. Uh, maybe another 5, 10 yards, you can take a shot at the field goal. Trips to the right side of the field. Grovestein has a single setback behind him on first down from the Simpson 38-yard line. Drops straight back, looking to throw. Now rolls out right. Directs traffic, pump fakes once, completes it across the middle at the 28-yard line. Tony Magestro with a reception. Three seconds left, and here comes the field goal team. Yeah, right here, like we just said, 10 yards, and uh, Modder's going to get a chance with the win to... uh you know, go from an 8-point to 11-point lead, and more than that, it's uh, old momentum might change sides here. All of a sudden, Simpson scores on the last uh, last possession here. Looks like we're going to take some momentum into the locker room, and, uh, you know, if you don't wrap up and don't tackle uh, on that kickoff team, uh, you know, they put their defense in a bad situation and take a shot at the field goal here. This is a 46-yard attempt. Brian Motter with the ball on the right hash. Snap is good. The spot is down. The kick is up. No good. No good. Wide to the left. And the first half comes to a close. To the storm, dodge a late bullet. And after two quarters of play, it is Wisconsin Whitewater 21, Simpson 13. This is Simpson Storm Football on AM 1490, KBAB, and Sports Radio, the jock. Puts the leg into it. Fuller will field it from the 5. He goes straight up the middle across the 10, the 15, the 20, bounces it out to the left side and hit at the 21. That's where Simpson will start this second half from their own 21-yard line. Again, Jorgensen, the quarterback, Lehman and Christensen in the backfield with him. The offensive line, left to right, Weeder, Head, Culbertson, the center, Valenta and Craigle, Kayeski, the tight end, 
McGraw and Richter are the wideouts. We've seen a lot of Jeff Dameron so far, and he starts his second half wide to the right. Richter is in the slot to the right on first down to give to Christensen. Sutter steps behind the line, dives ahead for a gain of maybe a yard out to the 22, and Andre Bennett wouldn't let Corey go anywhere. Again, they're really doing a nice job of containing Christensen here. They went ISO off right tackle, and uh, for not much there at all, defensive end crashed down, made a nice play. Second and eight now for the Storm from their own 23-yard line. Wide to the left is Dameron. Richter is wide right. Jorgensen fakes the give, rolls out left, looking to throw. Completes it to Lehman. He gets the first down. Down the left sideline. Tiptoes out of bounds at the 34. And a first down for Simpson. Jake Walter chasing him out of bounds. That is such a nice place for the Storm. They uh, run play action, uh, fake to Lehman, then fake back to Christensen, counter fake, and uh, find Lehman out in the flat. That's just been there all year for Jim and uh, this offense, and the uh, guy does a nice job with that. High formation, Lehman the fullback, Christensen the tailback, Dameron wide left with Richter wide right. The ball just off the last hash at the 33 and a first and 10 to give. Christensen, stutter step, tries to bounce it out left side to the short side of the field. Again, nothing doing. He gets forward for a gain of a yard. And once more, the 270-pound sophomore defensive end, Andre Bennett, chasing him down. Yeah, Bennett's played a nice game defensively for uh, Whitewater, containing Christensen, making him turn everything in. They went ISO again off right tackle. Corey tries to bounce it outside, and uh, he's right there to turn the play in. Well, it's about as tough a day as Corey Christensen has had this year, and you probably have to go back some time to find a tougher afternoon for him. Now Jorgensen throws on second down, airs it out. Right side, complete the short at the 44-yard line. Hit immediately as he caught the pass. It's close to a first down. And the officials... Stop the clock momentarily. They get a bird's eye look at it, and it looks like they're going to bring the... No, they're not going to bring the chains in. They say that he is short by about a half yard, so third in a yard now for the Storm from their own 43-yard line. Nice play there. Jorgensen rolls right, uh, finds uh, the tight end, Eric Short, uh, uh, out on, on, a, on an out route there, and a nice second down play. Double tight end set with Richter wide to the right and the give to Lehman. Off left tackle, spins away from the pile and gets the first down at the 46. Guy needed a half yard. He got a couple on the play and a first down for the Storm from their own 46. That's two first downs back to back. I'm sure that's what the Storm wanted coming out. Got a nice drive going here, mixing and matching. And uh, two first downs, ball midfield, and uh, we'll see what they do here on first and ten. Again, a double tight end set with Richter wide right. The ball on the right hash at the 46-yard line. Jorgensen rolls out left, looking to throw. Doesn't have anybody open, still looking. Now throws it deep down the field. Richter gets behind the defense, dives, and... Holy moly! How did he do it? At the seven-yard line, Jeremy Richter spread-eagled, made the reception. The officials took their time. Said that the reception is good, and it's first and goal from the seven. Wow, what a catch by Jeremy Richter. And I tell you what, a strong arm out of Brad Jorgensen. That ball was in the air into the wind about 50 yards. Uh, Richter lays out on the seven and hauls it in. What a catch. We said earlier when he had a couple of easy drops, he'd make up for it later on. Well, he just did. First and goal from the seven. Richter wide right. Dameron wide to the left in the eye formation with Christensen dotting the eye. The play clock down to ten. Jorgensen, quick hitter on the right side, completes it. Kayeski shakes off a tackler, now fighting for more yardage and driven back at around the nine. It's a loss of a couple of yards. Kayeski trying to get free in the big burly tight end. Couldn't shake the second and third tackler. Yeah, Jorgensen checked off at the line there, saw something. Uh, Kayeski on a little out, but uh, the outside backer for Whitewater was right there, made a nice pop for uh, no gain. Second and goal from the nine-yard line the ball on the right hash. Richter is wide to the left and again a double tight end set. The turn, the give to Lehman, off left tackle, plows his way forward to the five and a gain of five, setting up a third and goal from there. Steve Vanden Hindel and Dave Vittle, the defensive tackles, making the stop in this 4-3 defense. I tell you what, we've seen a lot of big plays, big third and fourth down plays on this goal line down here uh, into the wind and here comes another one out of the storm here. Uh, Probably uh, uh, look for something wide, let Jorgensen make a, make a decision and uh, try to get the ball, probably looking for Richter or uh, Short. Well, Richter comes out. Jesse Hunt comes in for him as a fullback. Christensen is a wingback on the right side. The turn, Christensen on a reverse left side. Inside the five, oh. gets forward to about the one, the two-yard line. That's the play that we were looking for all during the first half. They break it open with 11.38 left in the third quarter. 
and Christensen almost snuck it in. He's down at the one-yard line. Big call out of Jim. Decided to go for it here on fourth and goal at the one. I like this call. Uh, need some momentum to get going in the second half. Big play right here. Fourth and goal. Lehman, the fullback. Christensen, the tailback. Richter is wide to the left and a double tight end set. Jorgensen doesn't like what he sees defensively, so he'll call timeout with 11-13 left in the third. A big fourth down coming up, 21-13, the Wisconsin Whitewater lead. This is Simpson Storm Football on KBAB and Sports Radio, the jock. This is Max Point Nine. Fourth and goal to give to Lehman. Off right tackle. He dives into the end zone for the touchdown. With 11-10 left in the third quarter, Simpson has cut the gap to two. Guy Lehman hurtling the pile off of right tackle. Gets into the end zone for the second time today and for the 16th time this year. I tell you what, I love the call there out of Coach Wiz and Coach Wharton to decide to go for it there on fourth and goal from the one. Uh... Great opportunity to make a statement here in the second half and get yourselves right back in the ball game, not only on the scoreboard, but in the uh, the heads of the kids in the, on the sidelines. I'll tell you what, who that affects more than anybody is that defense standing over there. When they've stood there and watched that drive and the offense put seven more back on the board here, That'll you'll see a fired-up storm defense coming out to do their part now. That was a 10-play drive that covered 89 yards. We've got a Wisconsin Whitewater defensive player down in the end zone, right in the middle of the end zone. But a long, sustained drive that took uh, three minutes and 50 seconds to execute. And then you have to give credit to the setup, Jeremy Richter, on that outstanding pass reception down at the seven-yard line that set up that goal line situation. Great catch out of Jeremy Richter there. Uh, secondary receiver, I saw Jorgensen check off. They were looking to get the ball to Lehman out in the flat, set his feet, and threw it downfield. I'll tell you what this injury is doing right now for the Storm, Scott, is uh, scores 21-19. Obviously, the Storm's going to go for two here. This is a timeout, isn't it? it gives it's them, like a timeout. Gives them the opportunity to set this extra point up, the one they want to call. And, uh, you know, sometimes that works in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. But one thing it will do is get everybody on the same page uh, all 11 of them decide exactly what they want to run here for that two-point conversion. And that's Andre Bennett, the man down. He's being helped off the field. He has had a whale of an afternoon as a defensive end. Yeah, he's played well, really can take Christensen outside. Looks like it could be a knee or an ankle. They're helping him off right now. Yeah, Simpson huddled on that far sideline as they get ready for this big two-point conversion to try to tie it up. They faked the extra point late in the second quarter, didn't get the two that they were going for, and that forces this situation here, 21-19. Lehman the fullback, Christensen the tailback, Richter wide to the right, double tight end set. They fake the give, Jorgensen looking to throw, still looking, still looking, guns it into the end zone, it's intercepted intercepted into the end zone. The two-point conversion, no good. And with 11-10 left in this third quarter, Wisconsin Whitewater still leading it 21-19. to We got another uh, Whitewater player down in the end zone here. Uh, looks to be the kid that made the interception. I can't get his number right now. Uh, number seven, Ross Headley. Uh, 5'11", 185 pound senior, uh, shaking up on that play. Uh, that was the same play Simpson ran on fourth and goal at the end of the first half. And uh, the first time uh, we got the six, he found Richter. This time uh, a little bit more traffic in there, and he tried to thread one in and uh, didn't get it. But like I said, anytime you put numbers up like this, those two might not uh, come into play. Uh, we hope not. But right now it's uh, anxious to see what this Simpson defense is going to do on their first chance out here. I'm not real sure what uh, all the hubbub is about, but Bob uh, Berezowitz on the Wisconsin Whitewater sideline is very upset with one of the officials. And I'm not real sure why. Well, this will be a big kickoff, too. It seems like uh, we've given them some short fields. It'll be nice to see if we can get Hayes to kick this thing a little deeper and uh, cover one and make sure we wrap here and uh, pin them back a little bit, give our defense a chance. McKenzie and Walter are deep for Wisconsin Whitewater. They're back at their own 15. Hayes will kick it off, but he'll be kicking into this wind. He squibs it down the middle of the field. It hits at the 30 and fielded at the 25-yard line, bouncing it outside. 
Walter gets out to the 34-yard line, and that's where Wisconsin Whitewater will take over. This will be their first series of the second half. That was a nice drive out of Simpson, taking four off the clock, getting it in the zone on the first uh, first series. Uh, again, the big catch by Jeremy Richter down the middle of the field, uh, setting that uh, touchdown up by Lehman. And now it's up to Simpson defensively to be able to contain what was a very potent rushing game by Wisconsin Whitewater in the first half. They've got John D'Amato as a tailback and an offset eye with two wide receivers split wide to the left. And to give on first down to D'Amato straight up the middle. Takes the tacklers with him out to the 38-yard line. He was hit at the line of scrimmage, but he took people with him for another five yards. Zach George gets credit for the tackle, but a second and five now for the Warhawks. Yeah, you're not going to bring down D'Amato with one guy. He is a hard, hard runner, and, uh, you know, I think Coach Brezowitz sees something on the left side. They're really attacking that left side of the Storm defense. Second and five now for Wisconsin Whitewater. Wide receivers, two of them split wide to the right. The ball at the 38-yard line. Grovestein calling out the play, turns, gives D'Amato up the middle in a hole across the 40, upended at the 44-yard line, and a first down for... Wisconsin Whitewater. Yeah, two carries right out of the shoot for D'Amato, uh, 11 yards and a first down, uh, both off the left side again. So I, I think Coach Judge is going to have to find something to do, uh, maybe start gamble a little bit, take some chances up front, bring somebody to uh, shut down uh, D'Amato here. Whitewater leading it 21-19 over Simpson, 10-11 left in this third quarter. Trips to the right side of the field on first and 10 from the 45-yard line of Whitewater. Grosteen turns, gives D'Amato up the middle, across midfield, into Simpson territory. He gets behind the defense, down the left sideline, 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown, Wisconsin Whitewater. D'Amato exploded up the middle, bounced it to the outside, and just outran the Simpson defense. Yeah, same, uh, different formation all three times, but the exact same play. D'Amato off left tackle, that time uh, hits the hole hard, nobody there and now runs the D-back to the uh, to the corner of the end zone. That's a 55-yard touchdown run for John D'Amato, his second TD of the day. And as hard as Simpson worked to get that touchdown back, just like that, Whitewater put six more on the board. They lead it 27-19. to Motter with the extra point attempt. The snap a little high. They get it down. The kick is up. And it is good. And with 9.52 left in the third quarter, Simpson trailing it now 28-19. to Back in a moment, this is Simpson Storm Football on AM 1490, KBAB, and Sports Radio, the jock. In Indianola, where help is just around the corner. Three plays later in Wisconsin, Whitewater gets the touchdown back and the extra point. They lead it 28-19. to John D'Amato with a 55-yard touchdown run. And now Simpson's going to have to dig deep uh, inside to try to get something back. Nothing fancy there. Uh, great coaches always say games about blocking and tackling, and right now, uh, boy, Whitewater's blocking their way up front of that storm defense. Fuller is deep to receive the kick from Motter. He kicks it high and deep. It goes into the end zone, and they'll let it come out to the 20-yard line for the touchback. Well, again, one of the more potent offensive units in Division Three football, the Simpson Storm, and they are tested here in this third quarter. First and 10 from the 20. Richter is wide to the left, Dameron wide right. I back behind Jorgensen, the turn, the give to Lehman. Off left guard he goes, and he plows forward out to about the 25, and a gain of five. On the play for Lehman. Lehman is uh, running real hard. He had a great first half, 65 yards, and already made some nice plays here in the second half. Uh, we're r riding Guy Lehman. We're looking to him to, to make plays and do a lot of great things for us here. Just been a tough afternoon all day long for Corey Christensen, the senior from Winterset. And Lehman has picked up the load. Second and five now from the 25 for Simpson. I formation, and they fake the give. Jorgensen rolls right. Now sets up the screen left side to Christensen. He catches it at the 20, cuts it back inside the 25, the 30, bounces it outside the 35, 
And upended there at the 35 and a gain of 10 on the play. And maybe that will get Corey going a little bit. Yeah, there Coach Wharton got the ball out. on a little screen pass to Corey. Got him uh, moving and shaking. Uh, some real nice downfield blocks there. And uh, hopefully that will uncork him here for the rest of the game. Yeah, sometimes you just have to get him the ball and, uh, in a situation where they can do damage like that. And we'll see what happens from here. First and 10 from the 35 to give to Lehman. Off left tackle. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Still fighting for yardage but getting nothing, no gain, a second and ten upcoming now for the Storm. Yeah, again, they've uh, they've been running Guy Lehman a lot on first down right there. The uh, Warhawk defense was sitting all over it and made a nice play for uh, no gain. Jorgensen quickly brings the Storm to the line of scrimmage. Receivers left and right. He drops back, rolls left, looking to throw. Has some time. Airs it deep down the left sideline, but out of bounds. Richter was very well covered at the at the uh, Wisconsin Whitewater 40-yard line on a third and nine upcoming now. Yeah, Jorgensen made a wise decision there. They had Richter blanketed well, and our uh, under under receivers were covered well there too. He just got rid of it, got it out of bounds, and uh, set up a third and down. Third and nine from the 36-yard line of Simpson. Here come the storm at the line of scrimmage. Receivers left and right. McGraw is to the right side. Jorgensen drops straight back, looking to throw, gets some pressure, completes it on the to Lehman. Lehman across the 40, the 45 across midfield, down the right sideline, takes on a tackler at the wow. 40, and gets out to the 39-yard line. As soon as Sean Smith realizes what county he's in, he'll get credited for the tackle. Yeah, we uh, ran over the kid. Like we said earlier, Guy Lehman, uh, if you're going to tackle him, uh, Get low. That's it, and he's gonna he's gonna punish you. Yeah, get low and get insurance. Yeah, we got a uh, warhawk down on the uh, sideline. Well, it's not Smith. The man who made the tackle popped up, but I'll guarantee you that when he wakes up tomorrow morning, that hit <laughs> is gonna be remembered by certain parts of his body. The uh, the D back down right now was blocked by uh, Grant McGraw. Great downfield block there that uh, sprung Lehman, make the, uh, made it a big play. That is uh, R.J. Sanfrenic, their senior strong safety who's down. He's helped off the field. So first and 10 for Simpson in Wisconsin Whitewater territory at the Warhawk 40-yard line. Receivers two split wide to the left. They give it to Lehman. Quick hitter up the middle across the 35. Upended at the 30-yard line. A gain of nine for Guy. And a second and one upcoming. Brad Kligora, who just came in for Sophrenic, gets the tackle. Boy, Guy Lehman's having a game. And to his credit, I noticed this week also uh, he was named to an all-academic, uh, all all-American. So he's uh, getting the job done in the classroom as well as on the football field. Yeah, he and uh, Brad Jorgensen. Honored uh, by the academic All-American District 7. Second and a yard. Give Christensen. He gets the first down and dives ahead to the 28-yard line. That's a gain of two and a fresh set of downs for the Storm, who trail at 28-19, 7-29 in the third. Plenty of time as Simpson can solve things defensively, Rob. The offense is looking pretty good here in this second half. Yeah, they are. And you got to remember, they're going into the win here in the third and still making nice drives. So uh, you got the win in the fourth. Dameron is wide right, Richter is wide left, and a give to Lehman up the middle. He is hit at the 26 and stopped there after a gain of a couple for Lehman. A second and eight upcoming. Yeah, again, looking to Lehman on first down, uh, but a lot of that uh, is setting up the play action stuff that Coach Warden and Williams are going to with uh, with Brad, and uh, right here might be a good opportunity to go to a little play action stuff. Eric Short in for Matt Kieski. Dameron wide left. Richter in the slot left. Eye formation. Jorgensen drops straight back looking to throw. Has time. Airs it out. Complete. Richter caught it. Was plowed under at the 22-yard line. I don't know how he hung on. He's still about five yards shy of the first down, but a heck of a catch by Richter. Boy, great catch. I tell you what, uh, I've watched this kid catch a ball for the last three years, and, uh, you know, uh, he become Brad's favorite receiver. He just makes some great, great catches. That was only a gain of two, three yards, but what a catch it was. They mark him back at the 23-yard line, so a third and five from the 23. Two right receivers to the left, one to the right. Jorgensen drops back to throw, airs it across the middle. Richter gets the first down and is hit as he caught it at the 13. Again, catching Richter on a crossing pattern out of the slot there. 
Uh, nice nice re- reception, a little bit behind him. Uh, the O-line has given uh, Brad a lot of time to throw the football, and he's uh, picking and choosing and finding those open receivers. Got a nice drive going. Let's punch this baby in. Well, you talk about a uh, guy that has no fear going across the middle. Some of those receivers get alligator arms across the middle, not Jeremy Richter, first and 10 from the 13-yard line of Wisconsin Whitewater in the storm on the move. I formation, the give to Christensen. Tries to bounce it outside. Nothing doing. He lost a yard. Yeah, again, right there, he, uh, nothing up up in the middle, running ISO play, and uh, tries to bounce it and gets caught uh, caught in the ankles by the D tackle there. Dave Battelle gets the tackle. He is the defensive tackle, six foot, 